everyone and welcome to my channel. This is my third video for the topic of auto sequence activities. In my first two videos, I try to explain what are auto sequence activities and what are the reasons that give rise to this auto sequence activities. In this video, we'll see how we eliminate these auto sequence activities. So as you see on the screen that to remove auto sequence activities, we have to encounter four cases. In our first case is that our predecessor and successor both are in progress and they are linked with finish to start. So it's obvious that in this case, this finish to start relationship to be modified to start to start. And the second case is that our predecessor not started and its successor is in progress and they are linked with finish to start or start to start. So in this case, it is modified to finish to finish. In our third case is that our predecessor in progress and successor is completed. So and they are linked with finish to start or finish to finish. So it's obvious that this links to be modified to start to start. And the fourth and final case is that our predecessor is not started and successor is completed. So it's obvious that in this case successor does not need predecessor. So by any link they are linked with or it should be removed, it needs to be removed. Now we'll see this in primary Excel. You see that this is one of my updated program and this program let's before checking this program uh, we see in my previous video that how can we check auto sequence activities so the the easiest way is to check the log so before checking the log of any updated program i recommend to before checking the log you run the program so let's run the program press f9 and when you press f9 just press schedule Okay, and then press F9 again, and then you can see view log. Before viewing, before select this log option, you have to make sure that you have to click the check the log file so that the whatever the uh, schedule calculations there is safe, already safe. So uh, we already link it, we already click it. So just we go and click the view log. When we open the view log, this gives you the uh, the report scheduling report. And you can see there's the error in the error there are out of sequence activities which is 697 and our program containing 6700 activities and out of this around 697 activities are out of sequence so imagine that we have if we have we, if we need to remove the 697 activities manually one by one but thanks there's excel which help us a lot to remove this auto sequence very easily and fast in in excel itself so before going this one, just keep trying to remember that we have around 697 activities which are auto sequence. So we go here again and just go in file and export. In export, just select the spreadsheet option and after all, press next and then press activity relationships. Okay, no need for other options, just select the relationships and then select next and then you have to select the program if you have several program open then select the program which you are, you are working on we have only one program open so just select the program and go next and then i already make one template for the auto sequence activities i just show you what are this in this template you need to you need predecessor successor relationship type predecessor and successor activity status and their names so just keep just we other other I, fields you don't need it so no need to make your file heavy and uh, unwanted data there. So just this uh, data is enough for us. Just press OK and then go next. And then you already defined the location where you want to save the file. And then press next. As you see that our export is was successful. Let open this exported file. Now this our file is open. This is the relationship we exported. See all these uh, relationships are exported now. Before you start your operation, I recommend you to just make a copy of this file. So that in this, any in, in case anything goes up, uh, wrong, you have the backup file. So just press Shift, Control, and mouse left button, and then just drag and drop. It will copy you. It will copy the sheet itself. So this is our major main file which we exported from the program. Just click it here, and then just click here, and then double click, and then just make the column width. To suit your requirement, it's no need for all this data or everything. Okay, so now our file is open, and now just select the row number two and press the filter. Okay, now our first case is that 
both predecessor and successor activities are in progress. So from this filter, select the predecessor in progress and select the successor in progress. And they are linked with finished restart. Okay, so these are the links which we have to need to modify. So just go on the first data, press shift control, right arrow and left. It will select all the data, then press control C and just leave few rows for the reference and then press control V. Okay, now you see here, this is finished start. Now just select, press escape, press shift control, down arrow and then press alter and colon. If you press alter colon, you just select the visible color, visible rows only. Okay, and then you just finish to start. We have to change to start to start. So just press SS and then press Control Enter. It will copy all the relationships. So this all relationships are now modified. So these relationships are changed, and now we need to remove the old relationships. So just go at the bottom, press Control Down Arrow, and then this is the relationship which finish to start. We need to be deleted. So just press this control, shift control, down arrow. It will go to end of the end of the data and then just press D. Either small or capital is not an issue. Okay, press D and then control enter. Okay. And then we go again and then remove all the filters. In progress, remove it. And then just remove it. And then remove it. Okay. Now our second case is that. Now let's start for the second case. Our second case is that our predecessor in uh, not started. So we just select predecessor, not started. And our successor is in progress. Okay. And they are linked with which relationship? Finish to start or start to start. So we just remove this finish to finish. Okay, and they are linked with finish to start or start to start. Okay, and then just go here, press shift, control, right arrow, and then down arrow. Then press control C, and then just come at the end, control enter down. Just leave few rows for a reference and press control V. This data need to be deleted. This relationship we need to be deleted. Finish to start and start to start. So just select on the first cell, and then press shift, control, down arrow, and then press control d and control enter so this in this this d means that this relationship need to be deleted and from this start to start and finish to start we have to change to finish to finish okay so just select here press shift control down arrow alter colon and then just press f f control enter okay so this relationship are modified now so we are just going to remove remove all the filters our second case is solved now we have to go to the third case whatever third case a third case is that predecessor in progress okay and successor completed and they are linked with finish to start or finish to finish so just remove start to start from here okay then select the first data shift control right arrow and then down arrow have something wrong this one shift control right arrow and then down arrow okay and then press control c and then just go come here press control down arrow down arrow and then just leave few rows and control v okay this data this relationship we need to be delete press the first cell shift control down arrow and press capital D and then control enter okay and then go on the first say this is this relationship we need to modify so this finish to start and finish to finish just press control shift down arrow and then alter colon and this should need to be start to start to so press s s and control enter okay if you remove this relationship now here you see that not all the data are filled only the selected or visible data are changed so this is one of the short uh, shortcut of the excel and then remove all the filters now our three sales uh, three cases are solved
as you see that we have solved our three cases. The fourth case is related to deleted of the uh, relationship. So deleting is a very crucial uh, item. So we cannot delete anything blindly. So I recommend you to do this uh, one by one in Primera itself. So let's export our file back in the Primera. Before exporting, remove this filter. Okay, and then just press Control down arrow. The empty space we just put it. This is we just put for reference and to differentiate the data, old and new. So this is our new data down and up is the old old data. So just remove this down, delete this cell. Then again, Control down arrow. It will bring you the, at the end. Just select this one and then delete the empty cells. And then again, Control enter down arrow. This empty cells you have to remove. Okay, and then finish. No more. One thing more, you have to delete this sheet also because we just copied this sheet as a in case something goes wrong. So we have backup. So this no more required. Just delete. Be careful. Don't delete this user data. This is very important and this primary needed. So now our file is same, and we modify the relationship and just save it. Control S, save and delete and close it. And then we need to import this file back to primary. For exporting back the file into Primera, I just opened the log again to show you how many activities, auto sequence activities we have. So as we see before, that we have around 697 auto sequence activities. You can see again, and then just close, and then we go file import. Just press select spreadsheet next. Then you have to select the location where you save your file. Select the file from here and then just open. Then go next. Active relationship next. Import to you have to select the program which need to be imported. Just select program. Go next. Then press finish. It will take few seconds. Just press finish and. Now. You can see that it's the import as well. Please note that successfully the process does not complete successfully. Just ignore this error because there's something we did not fully um, import all the data. So just ignore this one and then we have to go and run the program again. Press F9. Okay, then just run it. Just our completion date is on the 6th May. After removing this auto sequence, if you run the program again. It will give you 23rd May. Means after removing this, all of all auto auto sequence activities, it saves you three days. So let's check the log again. Press F9 again and view log. If you go to view log, you can see that before we have 697, and now we have 54 activities remaining auto sequence. Okay. So means this or this 54 activities are those for which successor completed and predecessor not started. So in this case. We need to remove all this relationship one by one, one by one. So I am I'm preferring and recommending to do it manually one by one because if you remove this auto sequence and delete this all relationship, so maybe some equities have another error that they don't have any successor. So do you have to assign and check one by one all equities and assign them proper, uh, delete the old uh, uh, successor and assign some proper uh, uh, successor so that there's no there's no error for the activities for without successor and at the same time you eliminate this error also so we will do this one by one just select the first activity okay see i just select this one copy okay we have 54 now and out of if we have 54 out of sequence just press ctrl f and ctrl v and just go here you see that where this is completed and this activity successor when a vanity top is not even started so you go to vanity top and you see that this activity is completed so just go here and remove this completed it, uh, in this case if you delete this one it will not affect because already it has two more successors so if you remove one successor which is unnecessary uh, or so it will not affect anything so just remove this one and press Schedule again. And then check the log again. It was 54 before. Now I expect it is 53. See 53. So in this way, 
you have to go one by one for all equities and remove all the and delete all the relationship i just do one more for the illustration purpose press control f and control v and then find next see this is success has completed and predecessors not started they have three links one one is progress one is completed one not started so we we'll just go to this not started and this is already have three successors so one is completed so we just remove this completed one and then other two not started so now relationship are modified press run again schedule and then check the log again you know same it become now 52 before 54 53 now 52 in this same case you have to go one by one to all this relationship and check it if sometime you need to assign some new relationship and uh, the completed one you have to remove and assign new so it will take some half an hour or some time like this to do you one by one but it is better and it will give you from some other further errors if you do one by one manually it will give you it will help you and protect you from some further errors so i recommended you to do it manually one by one and uh, in this case you see before we have around 700 out of sequence activities uh, and we delete uh, we remove it very fast from with the help of excel and a few if 54 or 50 remaining which we have to do manually one by one and i show you one or two relationship how can we eliminate this one so i hope that it will help you uh, to remove how to, we can remove auto sequence activities very fast with the help of excel in the, from the primera and, uh, and i thank you for for your time and if you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe and my channel and see you soon for the new video thank you very much till next time time till next time thank you very much and see you again bye bye